What's up guys, Alec here and today I'm going to be talking about things you should and shouldn't be doing concerning the hashtags, concerning the algorithm, posting times and also concerning the likes disappearing. So I'm just going to jump right in and basically recently Instagram had a keynote which was hosted at Instagram HQ hosted by Lindsay Silb B, uh, Lindsay Silb, I don't really know how you say it and Visible by Alicia basically was at this keynote and apparently Instagram weighed in on some of the points of what you should be doing and shouldn't be doing on Instagram. So I'm just going to go through this post with you and basically share what Instagram have apparently said about what you should and shouldn't be doing. So first of all, when it comes to the algorithm, they have said the time of day you post doesn't matter despite what your insights say. Now, I'm a little bit sceptical about this due to the fact that posting times I've, I've tested it myself I always get better engagement when I post in the middle of the afternoon for some of my accounts rather than posting at 3 a.m which is pretty obvious but again this is what has been said at this uh, major event now again this is hosted by Lindsay Silb or this was hosted by Lindsay Silb but it was at Instagram HQ so obviously they had to, they were overseeing the, the event so some of this stuff must make sense um, it's never going back to chronological order. We know that because Mossery, the now head of Instagram, the CEO, said that it's never going back. You can follow him on Instagram, by the way. He occasionally shares some updates and stuff on his Instagram account. The way your content gets seen depends on whether or not people are engaging with it, period. Just because your audience may technically be more active during certain hours of the day, it doesn't mean you'll have a better chance of being seen. Again, this is the same thing when it comes to the posting times. Now, I get what they're trying to say, and I'm guessing just because you're posting at 3am doesn't mean that people aren't going to see your content. This is thanks to the algorithm. But there is also a point of if people follow thousands of people and they're getting shown thousands of content, it's more likely that they won't see your content, you know? So if you do post in the early afternoon, I, I agree with this and I don't agree with it. And again, I just want to make it clear that Instagram are always a little bit fishy when it comes to these kind of things, you know? They say one thing, but sometimes it's not true, like they lie to us. It's the same thing with the shadow ban, right? When your posts don't show up under hashtags, they said there's no such thing, but visibly it has happened so many times that people's posts don't come up under the hashtags. They're physically not there. Up next, about the disappearing likes. They aren't disappearing completely. You're still going to be able to see them on your end, but other people won't be able to see them. Now, I'm pretty sure that everyone's aware of this, but in case you're not, you're still going to be able to see how many likes you got on a post, but it's just that other people won't be able to see your the amount of likes you got. The number of likes you have won't be publicly displayed anymore. It's only going to be for you. And then up next, in reference to hashtags, the IG team doesn't recommend using more than 10 hashtags. They say that the sweep spot is between three to five per post, and I think this is very minimal. Um, I'm still at least 15, but you know, sometimes I do three to five. Apparently this is what Instagram have said. A block of 30 hashtags, especially when placed in a comment, sends a message that it could be spam to the Instagram team, meaning they could start hiding your posts or making them harder to see, which kind of looks like a shadow ban. So they've said that it, the shadow ban doesn't exist before, but that sounds like a shadow ban to me. And I do agree with the thing of 30 hashtags, especially people who copy and paste the same 30 hashtags. It, it, it just looks like spam. And post them in the caption. I've always been about this, always been about that. I've never really posted them in the comments except when starting out or testing it. Make sure your hashtags are super relevant to your content. Again, this is something that I have always tried to do. It's something I mentioned in my hashtag strategy video. If you're not aware of it, go and watch that video. I'll put it in the cards at the top. Um, they recommend putting hashtags in the caption itself, not in the comments, again, like what they said. So that is pretty much all the takeaways from this event hosted at the Instagram HQ. And I want to hear your opinions. Do you agree with these? Do you not agree with them? Let me know in the comment section down below. And again, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.